<sighs> Hello, Lola's. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, I'm here with the Memphis. <laughs> Guys, if you're new to this channel, if you want, you can hit the subscribe button. Um, also, you can click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you want to be a member of the chat box, you can click the link in the description bar or you might see a join now button on the side. It is a dollar and 99 cents per month to join. Um, it is a, a lot of membership where I do live streams and um, yeah, pretty much. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so even though I, I have, I'm migraining a little bit, um, I still wanted to come on and do a video, um, since I was sitting here rocking Memphis anyway, sometime, like I said, I'll come in to, uh, do a video and I'll just sit here and I will just hold a baby and sometimes I just get lost in time with just rocking them or whatever um these babies are weighted to feel like real babies so the weight of them is comforting um to any loving human being i think um even those that may think they won't enjoy it tend to end up enjoying it when they do actually hold them once you put the baby in someone's arms their reaction like change um regardless even if they still have a negative opinion about the hobby they still it still change something in them change when they actually hold the doll or see them in person um it's very hard for people um that have any type of compassion in their heart for babies to be you know hold one of these dolls and be like oh my god you know they they might say oh my god this is so freaky this feels so real this is creepy da 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 but i guarantee you most probably like 85 percent of every woman that you put this doll in their arms they're not going to try to hold it like this. They're going to hold it just like we hold it instantly because the mind triggers the realism, connects the realism to a real baby and they just can't help it. I've had people be like, why do you guys be holding it like a real baby? And the meantime, they're doing this while they're holding the baby. I'm like, the same reason you're patting the baby or they'll be rocking. And I'm like, the same reason you're rocking. Um, so which brings me to why I wanted to come on and talk to you guys a little bit. We, we go down this, 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 uh, rabbit hole over and over about role play, um, what we do, what we should do, what we shouldn't be doing with our dolls. It's our money. It's our dolls. It's our life. We're adults. Um, many, many, many of my friends doll friends are um, very well educated um, PhDs everything just just from doctors attorneys um, psychiatrists you know ordinary people that work in you know just regular basic offices and you know down to you know um, housewives with very you know comfortable lifestyles and even people that may be a little bit struggling but still are very smart intelligent you know women and men um primarily women um there are a few men in the, the community i i see now um but primarily women but they um they enjoy the dolls and many of them enjoy holding them and many of them enjoy buying prams and strollers and i know prams and strollers kind of the same but you know what i mean um uh car seats all that stuff 
for the babies. They enjoy it. They enjoy, you know, the whole experience of role playing. Um, regardless of how you view it, if you buy a stroller, if you put the baby on a diaper, if you give them pacifiers, it's still a form of role play in my opinion. Because if it was just for display, you would... Well, I guess you could display a bottle or whatever and you could just sit it there. But when you go out and specifically shop and change the baby periodically and stuff, that's still to me a form of role play. Um, because in your mind, you're dressing it and changing it as if it was a real baby. Um, now, there's a there's an artist that sells on eBay regularly and her work reflects the way that she sends her babies home. So she, she paints her babies like canvases. And I don't mean that in a bad way because I followed this lady for years because I wanted her dolls and I I love her work. But there, when I get her work, for whatever reason, I don't want to pick it up. I don't want to hold it so much. I just want to like pose it and just leave it. Be and her work kind of is like that. It's like, it looks like a painting on the wall type painting. Um, Although it's still lifelike, it just has that more of a canvas look to me. Um, and I'm, I'm saying this because when she does her box openings and stuff and when she's in the baby home, they do have a pacifier, but like they don't have diapers on. Um, she doesn't wrap them in blankets and, you know, it's, it's kind of like, here's what they were photographed with. This is this, and it's like, that's it, you know. I don't, I I think, in my opinion, she would be one of the people that really didn't role play with the dolls or anything like that, or maybe don't even collect them. Um, a lot of people are in this community because they see money. Um, like, a lot of people come in and say, oh, man, people paying that for them dolls. Man, I need to learn how to paint them dolls so I can make me some money. And then they, they paint it. And some of them actually do well still. Some do mediocre. And they put them up for sale. That's it. They don't... They're not into the hobby. They don't understand it. They laugh at us. They make little side comments. Those are the people that are mixed into the community that judge us but are so-called a part of the community. Um, a lot of, I've seen some big time artists that had made some comments about collectors that made me cringe as far as why are you want to hold this doll? It's a doll. It's art. It's da 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 Why would you want to give it a bottle? What, what's the point of a pacifier and all this and stuff? Like those type of comments make the collectors feel bad or want to second guess themselves or doubt themselves about why they are enjoying what they enjoy and you shouldn't you shouldn't discount their happiness or make them doubt what something that makes them feel good and you're selling it to them it's like it's like a drug dealer selling a crackhead crack in me like why you on crack well why you keep selling it to me i mean that's bad that's a bad <laughs> analogy okay go use that say no to drugs oh <laughs> But um, anyway, I, I so so then when you go, let's go further. When you go onto social media, everybody's talking about, oh, I love this baby, I love this baby, I love this baby. That gets boring. I, I you know, even I get tired of talking about the same stuff over and over again. Or how many freaking times am I gonna change this baby into? you know, an outfit or whatever the case may be. I'm going to change the baby right now, matter of fact. But, <laughs> um, it gets, it gets old, right? So sometimes people want to be creative. They want to have fun. They want to make fake bo bottles. They want to bottle feed. You know what? Even the breastfeeding thing, don't get me wrong. I am breastfeeding now. One of my babies, for real, I will pretend and throw a thing across the top and do it. Even the breastfeeding thing, as much as, I cringe to see it. Um, it. It's entertainment. 
is no different than television. Now a lot of television and people are actually using our dolls into movies and stuff. What is the difference? YouTube is a form of entertainment. If you think you're seeing these people real life behaviors on YouTube, a lot of times you're getting a piece of it, but you're not really seeing who they really are when the camera shut off. Are we? Do you really think so? I don't think so. So when people role play, they, we give our dolls personalities, we give them names, you know, all that great jazz. We do it for ourselves, but we're also entertaining everybody that's watching. Um, when I come on here and I'm pregnant and wobbling and, you know, I have morning sickness and I role play and I'm all these different characters, Nikki and Miss Andy and all that. It's entertainment. It's no different than going to watch a play on the big screen or at your neighborhood school. It's no different than that. So if I was somebody that wanted to do that, I wouldn't feel bad. I was going to put him on this, but I think I'm going to save this one until it get a little bit more cold because I love that thing. It's more winter. This is, this is an odd looking outfit. <laughs> it's giving me Mr. Farley from Three's Company, but I love these colors and I love the print. And I want to see what it's going to look like on this shirt though. looks like it's big, but the bottom doesn't. But I'm going to see. Let me see. It's got a lot going on. But yeah, so I, you know, I personally, now I did, I got, called out and laughed at and talked about for doing the having a baby in the bathtub of course that's you know other people copied that you know video as well um I did when I seen it play back and the things that they said I won't lie it did get to me and I was like you know what I did look crazy <laughs> and I was like they're right. Somebody, it wasn't about the crazy comments that got me. It was when it was like, yeah, just imagine your job, you know, seeing that and stuff. And then I kind of start thinking like, oh my gosh, at the time I was kind of like, ooh, what if, you know what I mean? So I think I unlisted it or something, made it private, but I don't know. People really just know how to steal your joy, right? They, so many people write me and tell me that they love when I do the role play. They enjoy the funny skits and stuff. And isn't it sad that others embarrass you and make you feel bad and then you don't want to do it? And what about the people that never get to go out the house? Some people can't afford both internet and cable. So what if they just have YouTube? And I know YouTube have a lot to offer nowadays. Um, but some people, this is their hobby and the dolls are, you know, they get their entertainment through watching the doll videos. And they get their laughs. Even if they're laughing at me and not with me, I'm still making somebody laugh that might be having a bad day. So let people have that. And if you don't like it, it ain't for you. You ain't the one looking crazy. And yeah, the outsiders are going to judge us for everything. But they're going to judge us for every. They're going to judge us as a whole anyway. They judge us as a whole for everything. They judge all women are the same. We're all too sensitive. All men are wild and liars. All black people steal and whatever. All white people are proper and, and rich and got a lot of money. You know, all these stereotypes. They lump everybody into a hole. So what? Be you. Accept who you are. Own it. And move on. I, 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 you know, I respect people's opinions of the matter. I am open-minded and I get it. I, I do understand what they're saying. That makes us look crazy when people come across and they see that and they're like, Oh my gosh, these people really think these dolls are real, da 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 Even though the disclosure clearly says, you know, we know this; these are dolls and it's just for fun and entertainment. Now, I don't know what happened recently. I did come across a video that was talking about something about 
somebody got shamed. But I don't know about that. I don't know who was shaming them or anything like that. I just know that it's been an ongoing topic for a long time. And I just feel like, oh, you look cute in this. You need a different hat, but we ain't gonna worry about it. Um, I just know it's just something that people are always doing. They always talking about us one way or another. So, you know, I'm just kind of like, whatever, you know, whatever. So yeah, this is him. He looks really cute, I think. Uh, he doesn't have to have these hand mitts, but put them on him. But yeah, look at that, this little outfit. <laughs> this is my little polka look. <laughs> look. Oh, I think I'm gonna do a, uh, I think I'm gonna make my other kid a boy too. I was gonna make, make it a girl. Maybe I, I might, but Nah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how how it goes. Maybe I will just keep it as a girl. But I love this kid as a boy too. But yeah. So anyway, I hope that you guys, you know, continue to enjoy what you enjoy. If you enjoy making your role play videos and having fun, it's good. I like good role play videos. I won't lie. Um, little. We'll, some of them I don't like, but I like some of them, but I don't get to watch as much as I used to. I'm getting, trying to get better at it. Sometimes I know when I am watching, I can't comment because my hands are tied up. So I'll give it a thumbs up, but I don't have time to stop and comment because I'm usually like painting or rooting or something when I'm listening to the videos. But anyway, guys, this is Memphis, and we are going, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to go and lay him down and lay down for just a little bit longer, and my head is starting to ease up. Sometimes I do this, too, to kind of distract myself so I can relax and not focus on anything else. It's my brain hurts right now. I think I'm thinking. I think too much sometimes. Lot going on. We're getting closer and closer to my grand second, third, well, third grandbaby being born. Born, you know, the first set was twins, so we'll say the second daughter to have a baby. We're getting closer. So I will see you guys later.